Hi. No. Hey, it's Sean Martin, and I'm here at the Piano Clubhouse uh, with man Tom Hangs, TJ. And um, so I'm going to do a couple of things I use for a practice regimen um, for piano. Uh, first thing I do is primarily scales. Um, I do them slow and slow. So I'll do, uh, the best thing for me to do is I'll do one octave. Um, two octaves, eighth notes. So I, I do that uh, in all 12 keys, moving in a circle of fifths. So, you know, so I'll do C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, C sharp. Then I go to the flats. And I'll do F, B flat, E flat, A flat. Then after that, you're just repeating stuff inharmonically. So, um, and I do that that way. That was something I learned when I was a kid. You know, that's how I learned my scales. But I do that that way because that way you're adding one sharp at a time. So, you know, if I'm doing, you no know, C has no sharps or flats, G has one sharp, you know, D, two sharps, you know, A, three, E, four, B, five. F sharp six, C sharp seven. So you know, same thing with the flats. You know, one flat, you know, add one flat. That's F. Two flats, B flat. Two flats, E flat. Four flats, A flat. So that's that's kind of how you know that's that practice regimen for scales. Um, another thing that I do for um, um, for just good technique is I do this. I do these things called um, hand and exercises, and one. Uh, quick and popular one that a lot of people do is they do the one where you rotate your wrists. That way, you know, you rotate your wrist, you will kind of get a little bit more fluidity, if that's the right word, over the key. So this one is simple. Um, do it a C. So you know, I'll, I'll do those. Most hand exercises are, are in C, um, but the but it's this designed to help get the notes up under your fingers. You know, so. You know, stuff like that kind of helps. You know, helps helps develop. You know, your, your you know technique. The way you know you, you you know just putting it up under your hands. Um, another thing I like to do is arpeggios. So I do you know. And then I you know I might do a, I might add a seventh. You know diminish. Uh, sorry. You know um, you know stuff like stuff like that. Um, and if you if you have a hard time doing it, you know, two hands, just do it one hand at a time. Um, you know, you know, one hand at a time, with your scales. No, there's nothing wrong with that. No, you know, one, you know, one hand at a time. You know, Also suggest too is if you know if you start getting into you know if scale is your type of thing, um, find out the uh, you can find, and you can find this out online as well the correct fingering, 
for it for your scales because like a lot of the black keys like F sharp, A flat, uh, B flat. When you're doing scales, your thumb can't touch a black note, and there and the reason for that is is because it's going it's going to inhibit your speed. If you're like let's say you're doing like you know um, I can't even think of a piece that had like a long scale, but you know but you know but if you're doing you know no I can't do that from because I can't cross over. I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, you know. You know, so, you know, that's that type of stuff. But good technique is very, very important.